It's Night of the Podcast. Welcome, horror fiends, to Night of the Podcast, the one-man horror show where I, Brian, talk about all things spooky, creepy, horror, and Halloween-related. On this episode today, I'm going to be talking about the 2015 movie Lumberjack Man, which was directed by Josh Bear and stars Michael Madston, Sierra Flynn, Jarrett King, and there's also appearance by Adam Sessler. The name kind of sounds familiar. That's probably because you might recognize it from G4, that channel, the gaming network, uh, which no longer exists, sadly. But he was a host on one of the shows. I can't quite remember the name of the show that he was on. I think he made an appearance on Attack of the Show every now and then. But he also had his own show with uh, another co-host, or maybe he was the co-host. But anywho. He's in the movie. Uh, So Lumberjack Man, yeah, what is it about? What does this movie involve? Um, It's about a group of uh, Christian (laughs) youths. It's about, yeah, a group of Christian youths. It's like summer camp, and they're going out uh, to just that, the camp, and um, they're attacked by the Lumberjack Man who emerges from the vat of syrup. Uh, At first, I wasn't quite sure about this movie. I thought it was going to be a serious movie. I had just recently watched a couple serious slashers that were awful. So that's what I was expecting out of Lumberjack Man. Uh, But because of the opening sequence and during the opening sequence... I realize that's not what this movie is. Uh, So the the movie begins, or the opening credits, I should say is the lumberjack man preparing all his weapons, you know, getting ready to go out and kill because he knows someone's coming. And then at the very end, he pours pancake batter on the stove, and then two giant fluffy pancakes are are, are being, you know, baked or cooked, whatever you want to call it, on the griddle. And I was like, okay, I get this movie is probably going to be a comedy. Hopefully a good one at that, but at least I was expecting the change in in how the movie was going to play out and what it was going to be. Well, now my cat is uh, saying hi, so this one right here, this little lady is Pepper, and she just wants to be a part of the show really bad, so turn around and say hello to the camera, Pepper, or jump down and leave if you're listening don't know what i was just talking about you need to watch the youtube videos go to youtube and look for night of the podcast and then change your filter to channel i know it's a little bit of work i don't have enough subscribers yet to where i can have a customized title man look at her go back there uh so that's what i'm talking about you can view my cat being absolutely ridiculous right now but back on to lumberjack man so he makes the flapjacks and then from there it goes to the bus and the counselors heading to the camp, the counselors and the kids. And there's some good banter back and forth between the kids and the Adam Sessler's character. He's he's the youth counselor or one of them. And, um, yeah, you get to kind of know them. You get to see what may or may not be the final girl. And it just kind of plays out how the movie is going to be from there. The tone is uh, very, it's put forth in this beginning, like, 10 minutes of the film. So, uh, yeah, the uh, lumberjack man kills a bunch of people, and that's bound to happen. I'm not going to tell you how he kills them. I'm not going to spoil that. There are some pretty cool kills. I will say that with his kills and his equipment that he carries around, he also is wheeling around giant flapjacks. I'm not going to tell you his topping of choice, but he may or may not show you what it is. Uh, You might be able to guess it as well. So... Overall, the uh, movie is a little blasphemous, a little sacrilegious. I mean, it's at a youth camp. They're making fun of God to an extent in some scenes. I'm not a giant fan of that, being a Christian. Um, So it didn't piss me off by any means because I get that it's a comedy. A lot of people make fun of all types of religions, people from, you know, every background and race. I mean, that's what comedy is. So I got over it. I can get over it. I get over those things usually typically fast uh but that being said so if you're very sensitive and you are a christian that likes horror like me and you're easily upset about that thing you probably shouldn't watch this movie um other than that i'm gonna say that you should 
check out Lumberjack, man. It's currently on Showtime. So if you have Showtime and you're able to watch it, I think it's an hour and 40 minutes, which is the weakest part of the film. It does drag in certain spots. Uh, kind of towards the end, it, mm, it gets really slow, and I don't know why the pacing is so poor uh, in that area of the film. The first and second act are paced really well. There's some sloppy editing here and there, but that's fine. But the overall pace of the movie is is good until the last 20, 25 minutes. It could have been condensed. The movie could have been shorter, and I would give it a higher rating if it wasn't for that. But with that being said, I'm going to have to give Lumberjack Man 6.5 out of 10 flapjacks. Like I said, check out Lumberjack Man on Showtime, or if you have a Netflix DVD subscription, go ahead and get them to send you that DVD or Blu-ray. I don't know if it's on Blu-ray. Uh, just a side note, the movie was also part of the After Dark film series. Some of those movies are always pretty good. Not all of them. I think there's, you know, eight films to die for or whatever, and uh, usually there's one or two good ones. This was a good one. So if you can, check it out. That's all I have for this episode. Thank you for listening, everyone. Thank you for watching. You can always subscribe to the YouTube channel at uh, Night of the Podcast. Like the Facebook page at Night of the Podcast. And you can email me at nightofthepodcast at gmail.com. Or you can follow me personally on Instagram at XXHalloweenXX. Thank you again for listening and tuning in, everyone. Until next time, good night, good fright. Be careful with lurks when you turn out the lights.